We'd like to thank our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Dragon Shields come in a variety of colors and designs, allowing us to choose the perfect sleeve to keep our decks safe. You can pick up the perfect sleeves for you by using the link in our description below, and be sure to use our code SCRYBABIES to save 5% at checkout. Welcome to Scry Babies. I'm Louis Ernest. I'm Tori of the Bath. Today we are playing the all new Fallout precons with our good friends, Kimmy at MTG and Steve Stillman. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> They're just our friends, just two cool guys. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let you talk about which precon you're playing today. Uh, I'm Ian from the YouTube channel, Comedian MTG. Uh, I'm playing the Dr. Madison Lee precon today. Uh, this is, I believe, the precon known as Science. Um, and I'm going to be doing some science. Um, Bill Nye precum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Science. You got some energy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a nice returning mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, I am playing the wise Mothman today, whose eyes light up <laughs> like me. Um, <laughs> Jeff Rose <Bruce Jr. laughs> Yeah, shout out Survivor. Um, yeah, it's just, this deck is Salt High, and it's just a bunch of weird little guys, and uh, I give everybody radiation, and there's a lot of ghouls and whatnot in it. So, so would you say that your deck is pretty rad? I, that's funny. Uh, that's a Fallout yeah, That's yeah. a Fallout one. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I understood that because I played big games. <laughs> yes. Well, we had to have the two of you here because you two are super fans of Fallout, mm -hmm. and you're really excited for this, and we like it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> So yes. we're excited to play this. What are you playing? Um, I am playing Dog Meat Ever Loyal. This is a enchantment and aura deck, so I'm really excited because that's my favorite kind of deck to play in Commander. There you. Uh, I've never played a Fallout game in my life, but after playing with some of the cards and opening them, I'm very inspired to try them because they look really cool. It's cute because he fetches stuff. Get it? Because he's a puppy. He digs in the ground for trash and it's, it's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Caesar, Legion's Emperor, from the one Fallout game I did not play. Even New though, Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> um, I love Bardu and I like attacking, so I'm going to be doing those things today. And also, he's got some really cool abilities. And he's a 4 4, so what could go wrong? Nothing. That's it. All right, uh, I will go first and kick us off. I'll draw for turn. And I will play an exotic orchard. Go ahead. What are you gonna do with that? Nothing. Yeah, not yet. And the first turn oh. of candy would tap from that. Exactly. So. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> I got lots of lands. I'm role playing with science precon. Speaking <laughs> about lands that can't tap, this path of ancestry is gonna come and tap, and then I'm gonna pass. Whoa. It's cute. It's a vault. Uh, I'm gonna play a tapped artifact land. <gasps> Uh, Racer Tide Bridge is a tap blue white artifact indestructible land, which is so oh, because like there's a bunch of these artifacts in the deck. I was talking about this with Steve pre game. Uh, Madison Lee triggers when you cast artifacts, but there's a bunch of stuff that makes artifacts that aren't being cast, and I'm very confused about that, but we'll see what it does. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's that's science, it's a little, <laughs> little roundabout. <laughs> science is abstract, as we all know. <laughs> um, I will play. Um, so you have a nice house, I do, you have a vault. Mm -hmm. And you have science bridge. and a bridge. <laughs> I have um I have like an annihilated building. Um yeah, with a TV set and a chair. Um but it's the temple of Milady. Um I'll scry one when it enters. You didn't do that. <laughs> well it's not a fedora. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. It like it's a light up hat, but it's not a fedora. <laughs> yeah. It's so. different those are different Come things. Yeah. Sure. Legally distinct. Um <laughs> mm. Ooh, this seems pretty good. Imagine the light up fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my light up hat will leave this card on top. Okay? And I'll, I'll pass the turn. What if Jeff Probst wore a fedora instead? I'm gonna play a forest Whoa. and I'm going to tap two just to put out some little boots. Really hoping I can cast the dog and put the boots on the dog. I think you're gonna hey. cast them next turn for sure. Would a, would a dog Dark wear work. boots like this? Oh, or like this? Do you need the flavor text? It's so good. I don't need breaks. I usually find that if something stops me, it's interesting enough to stop four. He says that in the game, I bet. <laughs> the boots? The boots say that. The boots. <laughs> Man, my favorite yeah. character. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. favorite follow character, Boot Guy. Yeah, Boot Guy. Boot Salesman. Hey guys, it's me, Boot Dude. <laughs> boot Dude, yeah, I, got, I got the radiation. I love me some boots. <laughs> I'm gonna play a beautiful mountain. Oh yeah? Um, so it got boots on it? Yeah. Shorty got the mountains with the jeans. 
And here's my arcane signal. What the fuck? And uh, I won't cast anything else because okay. cards are expensive. God. I will untap and draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play Ass Barons. Um... <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> this is Ash. Uh, and then I'll play a Talisman of Creativity. Hmm. Hmm. Talisman. Worse than an Arcane Signet. Alright, I'll pass. Really good. <laughs> I'll play a Basic Island. Whoa, Basic. And then I will also play a Talisman of Dominance. <sighs> mm -hmm. Uh, go. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> tap two. And I'm gonna play Kate the Cage Brawler. Oh cool. yeah. Yeah, so as long as it's my turn, Kate the Cage Brawler has indestructible. Whenever it attacks, me and the defending player each draw a card and then discard a card, which is pretty cool. I put two plus one plus one counters on Kate if I discard a card with the highest mana value among those cards tied for highest. So I'm gonna use my remaining land to tap for blue um, and pay for the boots to put on Kate. Maybe the maybe the boat. Kate's got some boots, and who do I want to attack and have draw a card? Who wants to draw a card? Don't let's do it. Steve wants to draw a card. Steve, yeah. wants to draw a card. Steve has to go last, so I'll, I'll, I'll hit my beloved Steve. Uh, Kate's coming Traitor. at you. Cool. So you're going to take one. Right. You know Steve loves to draw cards. Uh, we both loot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sick. Okay. So we each draw a card, then discard a card. And whatever one is, then it says, um, yeah, one. I put two plus one plus one counters on K if I discard a card with the highest mana value. Oh, oh, oh that's that's fun. So oh, I'm discarding this. Oh, um, I, I'm also pretty sure since it's non active player resolves first, you get to, uh, well, no, you, you make your decision bef I think before the, it anyway. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. started a blasphemous act. The, so, it, yeah, yeah, definitely probably has the higher mana value. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I agree. I, I just started a terrible for this one. Counter. Yeah, I only have minus ones over here. Go ahead. Well, Oops. he takes three punchies. Well, no, it's app. Oh, oh, that's on attack, not on. Yeah. yeah, it's on attack. Wait, I don't like this deal anymore. Okay, I'll keep that in mind next time, huh? You can't. I, you weren't gonna beat my blast. Oh no, act. yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. I thought it was if it connected, you know. So I thought I would take one, and then, and then we both loot. It's like a, you know, it's like a trade deal, but no. Oh, I, 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 I now know I that, and say, I will keep this in I had to say it was one. Steve, you will, just Steve will remember, remember this, this later. Yeah. Everyone dislikes yes. that. <laughs> we'll put a pop-up on the screen. Steve you, remembers. Yeah. What's in your a land? Paramorphic Expanse. Okay. Uh -huh. You should reanimate it. Yeah. It has a mana value of none compared to Blasphemous Act, which is huge. At least one. Yeah, at least one. <laughs> I least shall one. play the Shadow Blood Ridge. What did you say it like that? Because, <laughs> I don't know, I'm excited. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh-huh. To cast Caesar. Kaiser. Yeah. Uh, is his name Kaiser? They, they, there's like a whole bit in the game about how it could be one or the other, and like a bunch of people go back and forth about it. I don't... It's so funny. We get you, you play the game, pass. <laughs> <laughs> did you play the game? Uh, Fallout New Vegas is actually a game to that... Um, okay, Ooh. I'm gonna draw for turn. I was really hoping I would draw a land in the first... Three draws, yeah. Um, okay, we'll play a mind stone. And then oh, cute. is that like <laughs> mind <laughs> goblin? Steve, how dare you? Different worlds, Steve. <laughs> oh true, that's right. Yeah, that's like uh then I'll play the expert level safe. Uh when edges of battlefield, I'll exile the top two cards of my library face down. Uh, I can then pay one for myself and target opponent. Each secretly choose one, two, or three. Then they're revealed. If they match, I can sack it and put the cards in my hand. Otherwise, I exile the top two cards in my library face down. It's a weirdie. That's a lot of words. Wow. I don't even know what you said, but go ahead. <laughs> Sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Or congratulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's 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 moth in time. Moth man. <laughs> I'll take one damage. Cast my mon no, I actually don't have to. I have all three colors. No, we're cooking. Um, I will cast the wise moth man. Uh, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. Uh oh, things are there. pretty rad. You get one. Get ra get ratted. Hey. Um, go. All right. That's like in the game. Yeah, just like in the in the Fallout. I'm thinking completely different. And I'm like Chernobyl. <laughs> I know. I literally was thinking. The yeah, same we should thing. get like that like ticking noise of like the. The, the radiation scoop scooper thing the scooper I don't think it's a Doesn't scooper scoop. the, the Geiger sensor, counter the, the sensor the Geiger yeah. counter uh, yes Geiger counter <laughs> yes 
Uh, you, you have a red pre-combat so main phase is, that, is it my pre-combat main phase? Yes. yes. At the beginning, I was drawing. Yeah, so you draw. Yeah, and now you're in your main phase. Okay. Yeah, which is the one before. Okay. Combat. Can I just look at the card I drew? Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. Rad at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, if you have any rad counters, which I guess I do. Oh, you do. You yes, one. you have one. I have one. I mill that many cards. For each non-land card milled this way, I lose a life and a rad counter. So let's mill. I milled Preston Garvey the Minuteman. Not Preston. Okay. So All right. I, whenever it's non-land, so I lose, lose a life and, and a I get a round. I get a rad counter. For you two. lose a rad counter. You, yeah, you, you lose, lose it. So it goes away. It goes away. Yes. That, you're, mm-hmm. you're, um, but whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, I put a counter on each of up to X target creatures, where X is the number of cards milled this way. Oof. I'm cool. to put a counter on the Mothman. All right, uh, I'm going to play Mothman my land. Big. I'm going to play this forest. Big. Whoa. I'm going to tap this for a white because you have a... Land. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a yeah. blue-white land. Blue-white land over there. Um, tapping this and this to cast Dog, Dog Meat. meat. Uh, so it enters the battlefield when I mill five cards and return an aura or an equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. Did you say mill? I'm <laughs> milling. One, oh, two, milling. three. Whiffing. Four and five. Wow, none. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So they all go to the graveyard. Yes. That's crazy. That is not the first oh, time I've seen people play this deck and that the meat mm-hmm. is just whiffed. <laughs> Each of up the X target creature for X. Okay. Yes. So I only get to put one counter on one. one five one. cards. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, Mothman uh, gets one counter. I've got a puppy, though. This is less broken is than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he is he on attack, too? Or whenever, is it it's a junk when you attack. Uh, whenever a creature I control that's enchanted or equipped attacks, I create a junk token. Mm-hmm. So I can do that with Kate. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. get all the benefits of it, too. Yeah. Yeah. So you have mm-hmm. a 4-4, four, four, you got nothing. I am ready to be attacked. All right, so I'm attacking you with Kate, the cage brawler. So it's a 3. Um, we have an attack trigger, loot. so we're just going to loot. This one. Reveal. Are they tied? What happens when we tie? Um, I think the tie... So I still get ah, plus two counters. <laughs> so it gets two more counters. It's a big ship. So yeah. you're going to take five from Kate. That's the ship the Brotherhood I'll say it's the Brotherhood, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed them in the entire run I did for four because I was so focused on getting my kid. I just never saw them until the end of the credits. And I was like, where the fuck oh. did those yeah. guys come from? <laughs> Who are those dudes? Yeah. Because I attacked, I get a junk token. Uh, I gotta say, junk tokens are cool. kind of busted. They're like, really they're, cool. they're insane. So, a junk token, I can tap it, sacrifice it, and exile the top card of my library, and then I may play that card this turn, activate only the sorcerer. All right, <laughs> go. Wow. Where's all my babies? <laughs> Radiation. <laughs> okay, so I mill one. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a land. Mm. It's a land. <laughs> Mothman doesn't like that very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, is. my husband Mothman. Now she keeps the now thing and you get to but I have other ways to oh, make Oh, we don't have non-lands. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mothman doesn't like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> Mothman will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Mothman will remember this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Mothman dislikes um, him. Mothman not have. And this, well, and this stays, though, because I had a yes. land. Yes. So never I have the allegations with that one, too. <laughs> never been the allegations with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Vein showing in your face. <laughs> Mothman doesn't like when not a land. <laughs> Steve, stop doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read this card. You're good. Take your time. Steve's gonna turn to a normal skin tone. <laughs> It's all the radiation. <laughs> we're running. I'll do that. Right. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> pack of ancestry for a black and wait for McCready, Lamplight Manor. Oh, oh, the child. Yes. Whenever a creature you control attacks with power two or less, it gains skulk. And then whenever a creature I control with power four or greater attacks, its controller loses two life and I gain two life. Um. <laughs> the Mothman is displeased. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll play. I'll pay two for Talisman of Hierarchy. And then I'll pay two for Securitron Squadron. It's an artifact robot. It's a 2 2 of Vigilance. Whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under my control, I put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, you didn't wait on that one? Do you think yeah. it's bad to sack this thing to this? I mean, you're going to sacrifice a child to the. <laughs> to, to the yes, I mean, to be man. fair, Caesar. 
pretty canonically yeah. would would sacrifice well, a child. So I'm for saying sure. because it's like. I need a way to start doing this effect, right? Yeah, yeah, so no, you okay. can kill that kid for sure. Yes, you can't. No, you can't. Kill that kid. Baby. You can, there's a there's a normal robot you can murder, but you're like, nah, kids gotta go. Well, you can't kill the kids in the game. It doesn't oh, let it does you. get bigger though when you're Yeah, I want more yeah. stuff. Yeah, yes. kiddos gotta go. Um, yeah. Hey, do you want an immunity idol? A what? Ian. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, Tori's got a four, a three, three. Uh huh. And, and you five, are five. attacking with a four. Well, it's tapped. Yeah. You're attack dog. Um, you wouldn't do this, Ouija. Really? really? You're already problem. killing kids. You might as well attack the oh dog. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well, I can't swing at Steve. Oh Ian's already taking more life, so I am going to swing at you. That's okay. It is a four, four. Whenever I attack, I may sacrifice another creature. When I do, I choose two, so I can create two one, one red and white soldier creature tokens with haste that are tapped and attacking. I draw a card and lose one life, or Caesar deals damage equal to the number of creature tokens I control to target opponent. I didn't know it did two. Yep. That card's way better than it just two. So we're gonna sacrifice one. this yeah, child yeah. on attack. No, you're gonna what? do what? Sacrifice life? Yeah, yeah. What are you, you need to say that clearly. We're gonna sacrifice McCree on attack. Who is a no, no. child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A kid? A, a child. A child. A does this lamp trigger light. also on attack, or does it not see it because it's... No, because they okay. already did. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Because it says... Because the kid dies. Oh yeah, yeah, the kid is in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, because okay. you killed him. Yeah. We're gonna mm -hmm. make a Doesn't two respond. one one red and white soldier creature tokens that uh -huh. are gonna be tapped and attacking uh, Ian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take four. Nice. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll take four for this. Four is gonna be a Tori, and I will draw a card and lose a life. And I can't cast anything else, mm -hmm. so I will pass after that. Are the soldiers also children? Just out of curiosity, it, it uh, seems so it's, Caesar's it's, Legion is canonically full of adults. They're tapped. Yeah, I just draw. Uh, sure. uh, at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I do have a rad counter. Mill, a land. Mothman doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me the moth look. Uh, we're gonna go blue, blue, losing one, uh, and one, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna play a synth infiltrator. Ooh. It's an improvised clone, so it comes in as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, yes. except it's a synth. Yes. No, I don't want well, no. your moths. You don't want this? <laughs> nah, double mothmans. <laughs> if I don't get to play the mothman deck, I'll have another mothman. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have a copy. I think there's okay. the... No, there's the actual mothman. Oh, oh yeah, you can see that. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, we got two months, which means everyone else gets another radiation counter. Yeah, so I go up to two. Torn I go one. up to two. I'm going to as well. counter, please. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I will draw. Mm -hmm. Then I have um, two radiation triggers. Yep. Um, so first one. Mill. Ooh, a corpse jack menace. Um, I will put a counter on the Mothman. This. Counter on the Mothman? Yep. One. Uh, mill again. An island. Okay. No counter on the Mothman, but I stay radiated. Hello viewer, Editor Jace here. I can see you getting ready to write a snarky comment saying something along the lines of, um, actually, it's not separate triggers, it's just one trigger. We see you, and we hear you. So in order to clear things up, here is the official wording for radiation. There, all better. Now we can move on with the episode. <laughs> Um, okay, let's play Woodland Cemetery, play a Talisman of Resilience, and just do a little ramping. Mm -hmm. do a, just do some ramping. <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> um, leave up the Talisman of Dominance, and I'll play Branching Evolution. Uh, if one or more counters would be put on a creature I control, twice that many are put on it instead. Mm -hmm. Your moth might be better than my moth. Yeah, I don't know if the moth wants the comfort. Uh, all right, combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually, well, no. If if I turn the moth sideways, yes, I'm gonna get seizured. More children Probably. will be sacrificed, more and then I'm gonna get the Lewis cause for sure. No, yeah. there's no more. There's just this guy. Um, I actually no no, no. I need I, I need to start attacking you here. Do. All right, it's um mothman trigger. Yeah, I get a mothman oh, trigger. Yeah, I get a mothman trigger. Um, each player gets gets a red counter. Um, this is going, yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, no, yeah, this goes, this goes to you just cause you copied the moth. 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay. You piece of I'll shit. Six. Um. Go. Draw for turn, and now I'm gonna have a trigger <laughs> for my radiation counter. So I'm Ooh. going to have Ooh. two radiation counter triggers. Oh my goodness! I'm in a middle card. It is a squirrel oh, nest. Two die. Two I lose a life. Yep. Yeah. Interesting, because another just one. A land! To Hooray! Some. I don't lose a yeah. life. I am tapping my forest to play an abundant growth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enchant this forest. What should you say? <laughs> <It's a freedom! laughs> Sorry, you're good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't understand the joke. Uh, I'm gonna play another forest. Remember when I milled a land and I was like, damn, I really needed uh, that yeah, land. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Forest, yeah. Yeah. But I drew a forest off of this. I think that was any color, though, at least. I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna tap this for white. This for whatever. Red. I'm gonna play Cass, Hand of Vengeance. Uh, so it has vigilance, and whenever Cass or another creature I control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, I return any number of aura cards that were attached to it from my graveyard to the battlefield attached to a target creature, and then attach any number of equipments that were attached to that creature too. I will attack you, Caesar, for killing a child with Cage, <laughs> Cage Brawler. Uh, I'm gonna create a junk token. Oh yeah. So I have two junks in my trunk. Uh, and we're each gonna draw. What are you doing? I can be a tag team like this Ooh, with flip. the mods. Right, mine wins, so I get plus two counters. Oh, that card's six, though. So you're gonna take seven from Kate. I don't know, Kate's, uh, Kate's, Kate's a big punch. She's Kate's, not a problem. Kate's kind of big. Kate's, Kate's really, Scandal. really big. She's got that, that Pittsburgh rage. Yeah. Kate the big cage brawler. Uh, and then that is that. That's all I got. Okay, that was fine. It didn't hurt at all. I have to draw a card, and then I have three. I have three. <laughs> so, that. land, oh, yeah. creature, yeah. another creature. Mr. House. Okay, so we get to, we get a little more. And these go turn. down two, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I lose two life. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna play this planes. Grease, grease fang. Any grease fang? Play this <laughs> luck bobblehead. So oh, this one, one yeah. is a, I can tap it for one mana of any color, and then I can pay one to tap it to roll a six, or roll X, six I die, where X is the number of bobbleheads I control. Mm -hmm. Create a tap treasure token for each even result. If I rolled exactly six, seven times, I win the game. I can't wait to make a bobblehead deck. It's this seems so sick. stupid <laughs> in a good way. Okay. Um, too many big daddies. Step Steve, Steve's tapped out. I'm gonna attack Steve with the squad. When I attack though, I'm actually gonna sack this guy. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go away. And then I'm gonna choose to make two one ones. And then this, they get a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. And then card draw here. So I'm gonna draw a card and lose a life instead. Okay. And then Steve, you that have- I take six. Yep. And then uh, six of it is, or ten, four, four of it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, those are also attacking them? Well, nobody oh, else. Oh, you sent those at me too? Well, I sent one all at right, you, but then. All right, okay, fine. I'm, I'm at twice. Okay, I will pass. Okay. And up, upkeep, Dura. Mm, radiation trigger. I got Sentry Bot. D45 power armor and automated assembly line. I'm gonna take a full lightning bolt there. And lose all my rads. Mothman is pleased Mothman with Mothman is pleased. And he yes. gets to count. The tribute to the boss has been had. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I Man, 12, I am 12. big whiffing on lands with this deck. It's not the worst at all. Um, what we're going to do is... Uh, Moth Brother, you need to pick a number between one and three. Then those choices are good. Oh, if our choices match. Um, Moth brother. Moth <laughs> give, brother. Give me a die. <laughs> Stupid. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, two. one. One. Damn it, I was picking two at first, too. <laughs> Mothman chose two because Mothman has two radiation counters. That's all Mothman knows. So why, why pick one when radiation two? 
clearly, <laughs> clearly Mothman. Otherwise, I'll tell the top card of my library face down. That's well, it. You, you basically like Drogon, kind Yeah, Kaya. yeah. <laughs> I guess. I lost at my own Moth game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play my, my Doctor. Doctor Madison Lee, losing a life. Uh, whenever I cast an artifact spell, get an energy, and then she can do a bunch of stuff when I get energies. So I'll uh, pass the turn. Draw. Trigger. Yes. I will mill two cards. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Ooh, big whifferoni. Yeah. Two lands. Oh. Displeased. <laughs> this Mothman is mad at himself. Mothman. Mothman does not know how to process yeah. self hatred. <laughs> yeah. Mothman is about to go to therapy. <laughs> Mothman must have go on an emotional journey to discover who Mothman is. <laughs> He's got a lot of mana sources, at least. Yeah. Yeah, Mothman's rolling in the mana. Okay. The Mothman? Yeah, the Mothman. <laughs> um, okay. So Mothman is a 12 12. But, Mothman attacks. I'll take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, I would, this makes two one ones that are tapped and attacking. I could probably take as much as 16 next turn from you alone. <laughs> and then, uh, but I, uh, Mothman one needs to grow. <laughs> Mothman needs to Don't you have any other creatures to put on the battlefield? Mothman works alone. Mothman doesn't okay. have any other right. moth children. The moth children. There's no Mrs. No. Mothman. Actually, moth woman, perhaps. So you're saying he's available. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan. There's no moth mama. I'll play the Talisman of Curiosity. Another okay, Talisman. Yeah, just all the Talismans. Talisman then that's my plan. And uh, all right. Um, all right. Um, whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Big manual. Everybody's like, ooh. Ooh, I will play Vault 12, the Necropolis. Ooh, what's it do? Um, all right, it's a saga. Um, so the first chapter of the saga is each player gets three rad counters. Whoa. Three. Ooh. Count them three. Three. Um, count them three. Yeah. So I... I Radiation. I kind of can't... Oh, oh, thank you. Yes. I'm... Silly, silly me. I forget. Oh, oh, yeah. And then the next chapter, I just make four two twos, And then the one after that, something... In, I, make four? I, make... X two two zombie mutant creature with X is the number, number of total players. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, rad counters amongst players. Oh, rad counters. Oh, it's rad counters yeah, amongst players. Yeah, actually, that's. Oh, total. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually good. Yeah. Because at first I was like, oh, it makes four. That's a kind of no, bad. No, oh, no. It, also, it depends what happens on on your turn. Nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, uh, and then. I mean, it's very unlikely we'll full whiff on them, but still. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been yeah, keeping at least one yeah, every yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but even then. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And what's the last one? We put oh, yeah. And then I put two plus one plus one counters on each creature I control that's a zombie or a mutant. So, like, oh. makes a bunch of dudes and, and then, then buffs a bunch of And then buffs them. That's well, cool. Mothman's yeah. in it for the long haul. Donna, um, Mothman, sorry, <laughs> is not going to attack this turn. I, Actually, well, no, I guess it's in my best interest. Oh, so to they're all going to get also plus four plus four on that third thing because you're branching evolution. Perhaps. <laughs> there could be six six zombies. I have this Perhaps. Card. Perhaps. Cool. Perhaps. Um, that card's dumb. Yeah, I don't think it's safe for me to attack here because everybody's yeah. just gonna like annihilate me. Yeah, for sure. I um, like, but I but like this is all just from Mothman's master plan. So go. Thank Mo you. The Mothman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The evil Mothman plan. Uh, why is Mothman a uh, smoking Santa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I got. It was it was maniacal um, after. You, you have radiation. Tri you have radiation triggers. I'm going to look at a mill four. One. Where's that land? Two. Oh. Three. So Let's only, go one. only one. Mothman gets two counters. Mothman gets counter. Oh, sorry. It's a, it's a synth version of Mothman. I think it's yeah. 24. <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> Is Mothman unable to be targeted? No. Or, no, I can't you remove can, Mothman. You can Mothman didn't attack you. Mm -hmm. Mothman did not attack me, but I will remember this. The Lantern of Destiny shall pull Mothman away from this <laughs> ultimate goal. <laughs> yeah, if someone plays a Lantern of Insight, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to sacrifice a junk token and exile the top card of my library and see if I can play it. 
Wahoo, it's a land. I can play it. I didn't play a land for turn yet. <laughs> I would kill for a land right now. Yeah, I literally keep milling all of mine. Like, yeah. Your radiation counters will run into this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Um, I'm getting a little scared of how big Mothman is and about how big everybody is getting. I have two creatures. <laughs> yeah, but you have a moth too. I do have moth too. Electric I have, I have, moth I have Walmart moth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moth at home. I'm gonna tap six. I have Mothman. <laughs> she said six. Tapping six? Yes. I'm six? gonna play almost perfect, just like me. What? Uh, and I'm gonna Yo, attach it to awesome. dog meat. So this creature has a base power and toughness of 910 and has indestructible. Oh, it also gives indestructible. Yes. Rut row, Raggy. Yeah, I don't want my puppy to go away. She also has the card where if things go away, they come back, right? So. Uh huh. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You have the card that if stuff dies, yeah, it comes back. I get to just put them back in instant speed on whatever creature really I want. Really <laughs> Vault so. twelve, the necropolis, not so scary now, huh? I mean, you'll Com have a lot of chump blockers Big for the night. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat, and I will. Oh boy, I have to attack Steve because he's about to get a control, but he's got a giant what? twelve twelve blocker, so it kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I can attack him with my dog, but that would just do nothing. Lou is also not not a problem. Don't yeah, know, well, I, know. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna attack that. you with Caitlyn, I guess. Okay, and is that all you're attacking with? Uh, I'm gonna leave up, I think, my dog okay. to block some of the big zombies mm -hmm. that are going to come here. Okay. Okay. We have a check trigger. I'm gonna respond to the attack as well. Sure. Okay. Uh, one. One, two, three. I'm gonna test Entrapment Maneuver. Oh, I love this card. So, target player sacrifices attacking creature. I make X11 white soldier creature tokens where X is that creature's toughness. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, you're a problem. And they're all gonna get counters. You're a problem. No! <laughs> you're, that's just 14 and you're, power. And you're, and you're talking about killing Wise Mothman. Do I still get the trigger for this when it attacks, no. though? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we each draw yeah. a card and discard a card. Yep. And Kate shall die. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what I want to get rid of. No, the, the shuffle of boots. Kate's oh. gonna die, but it says uh, whenever a creature I control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, I return any number of aura cards attached to it from my graveyard of the battlefield attached to a target creature. Then attach any number of equipment that were attached to it to a target creature. So yep. I get to move the boots. Correct. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the boots on the dog. You also have another junk from Dog Meets Tricker. Okay. Who junk? This is the card I'm discarding. It's Paladin cool. Elizabeth. And then now we're gonna go to this, right? Yeah, make okay. seven one ones, they yeah. get a plus one counter. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, so make 14 power. I'll save it for Mothman. Mothman didn't attack me. Okay, hmm. this maybe resolved. Maybe Mothman's smarter than people like Caesar <laughs> might you think. Fucking stop. <laughs> maybe, maybe Mothman has, has some attractive qualities yeah. that make Mothman. <laughs> Mothman Bachelor! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mothman not such a bad guy, after all. Mothman's giving gifts, okay? You both being problems doesn't make you less of a problem. <laughs> well, no, well, no, this is the, for defense against uh, the, the Dark the Arts, dark which is... <laughs> this card doesn't even say Caesar. No. Yeah, it's whenever you attack. Yeah, Period. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Oh. I can't do anything. Okay. That means she can jump attack with the children. Yeah. They're not children anymore. Okay. No, this is what so we seen. have four. <laughs> Radiation. Land. 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 One on land. One. One. Yes. 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 All right. Two counters. Um, and then I lose. Th is it? Sorry. You, you one. lose one. I just lose one. Yeah. Okay. Given the board states currently, there's a discrepancy in the strength of some of these. Days. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Leave my dog alone. No, no, no. I'm just pointing at the fact that I'm my deck has done jack. <laughs> what do you mean? I have copied Mothman. I have copied, copied the, the lame imitation of Mothman. Uh, I think she, I think the Caesar might be the big star. Right. The most I powerful think I'm going to go to combat. So I'm going to swing with these. I'm not going to attack with Caesar. He makes me nervous. I'm going to sack a creature mm -hmm. to make two of these hasty guys. 
Yeah. They're going to be tapped and attacking, and fuck, they're going to die. Also, that's new, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, Second one. They'll get plus one plus encounters on here, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to deal damage equals the number of creature tokens I control to target opponent. So that would be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just hit. All right, so I'll, I'll block two and I take 16. Are you two? Uh, so two damage. Oh. I'm blocking two damage. Yeah. I'm taking 16. Mm -hmm. I'm going to die. Do you care which one dies? Uh, one of the adults, preferably, and not the child. <laughs> so. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna... cast the Deadly Dispute. Yeah. I'm gonna sack this guy. Mm -hmm. And draw two cards and create a treasure token. Fancy, fancy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. sack. More bobbleheads. This More bobble treasure heads. and pay two for a charisma bobblehead. Um, so I can pay four to tap it and make X one one white soldier creature tokens where X is the number of bobbleheads that I control. And I'm not gonna do anything else, I will pass. Untap. Oh, um, there's a scheme. There's a scheme. There's uh, evil. I'm hyster I'm I'm bad at mana. So there's how many cards? Red triggers. There's one. Two. two. Three. Oh. Yeah, we'll take those. Although uh -huh. those were really cool cards that I'm kind of sad with. Them. Dice. <laughs> Counters. Um, okay. I did hit a land after 30 years. <laughs> you Willikers, Madison Lee, you're not really um, helping a, a whole ton there. You're basically playing Mothman with professional <laughs> colors. I'm yeah, actually, I'm playing yeah. Morthman. <laughs> Um, play a Soltron Dominator, Ooh. Uh, losing one life. Uh, when it comes into the battlefield, well, first I get a cast trigger from Dr. Madison Lee, and make an energy for the first time in this game. My decks are the thing, yay! Uh, into, into the battlefield, I get two energy, and when an artifact creature I control attacks, I can pay an energy, and it either gets first strike or trample or a plus one counter. Cool. Okay, we're gonna pay three mana. Um, and I'm gonna cast Nerd Rage, um, on, I guess, the Dominator. Uh, it is, enter the battlefield, I draw two cards, and then I have no maximum hand size, and when a creature, when this creature attacks, if I have ten or more cards in hand, it gets plus ten plus ten, which is unlikely. Whoa. But, you. Then I will go to pass my turn. It's mothing time. Um, okay, um, does that have trample? No. no. Currently. Okay. You're going to give your creature. Hello. Okay. Um, upkeep. All right. I'll draw. So I have two triggers. Um, I'm going to stack them in such a way that uh, this resolves before the radiation mm -hmm. triggers. Um, so I will make... 11 zombies? Yeah. Uh, I'll make 11 to 2 zombie mutants. Pretty good. Okay, that's quite good. Okay, okay radiation triggers. Yeah. Time to mill five and hopefully not take five. That would be bad. Mm -hmm. One, all right. Two, oh. Well, I jinxed it, so. Three, yeah. Uh oh. Four. Uh oh. Last one's land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three. So I, uh, this gets two. I, you actually can, I believe you can put it up on an X target creatures, right? So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. So you milled yep. five cards, so five of them can be three threes right now? Yeah. Oh, five of them can be four fours. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of insane. All right, on. Uh, and I lose four, go to six. Damn, you kill me basically with so my to, to be clear, just for the camera, I feel like that might have got a little muddle. There's. Yep. So there's yeah. seven two twos, uh, and then there's. Then there's four four fours because of this yeah, yeah yeah Mothman also got two triggers yeah yeah um okay um <laughs> if Mothman proliferates one that is a one shot kill unless I'm mistaken or you could just if you attacked me with it and I draw two non land permanents yeah. I to hide in my yeah. own radiation yeah, yeah but true. if I if I attack you so I have um, I have eleven and you have you have a Caesar that would just kill me. And I have a half then... mana that you were concerned about. Okay. Um the... <laughs> I went on the same thing, Steve. <laughs> the, uh... No. No, actually. We're playing a very evil deck, you're not really selling it. Yeah, um, <laughs> but, scary. But Ian has a flyer. 
-hmm. and can also give it trample. Not that that is too relevant because it already has flying. Mm -hmm. So, don't don't, don't like that. Uh, My game plan is to not be the problem, as I am already still not the problem. (laughs) All right, we'll go to combat. Yep. Um, Mothman. Okay, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> you uh, trigger Mothman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Mothman trigger fine? Mm-hmm. Everybody get your red counter. Okay. I don't know how this card works, so we're gonna do our best with this. It's a lot of words. So I'm gonna flash in, in the Mysterious Stranger. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah. This card's sick. One, two, okay. three, four. Um, I also have a Path of Ancestry trigger mm-hmm. on that real quick. I don't think I care about that. Okay, um, so this card has flash. It's a 3 2. Okay. Um, when Mysterious Stranger enters the battlefield for each graveyard with an instant or sorcery in it, I exile target instant or sorcery card from that graveyard. If two or more cards are exiled this way, I choose one of them at random and copy it. Make cast the copy without paying its mana cost. I have zero. I have, I have two. Two instants. I don't think you. Well, I think I have to take all of them, right? And then I randomize them? Which, yeah, 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 it's, it's instants and sorceries? Yes. So, for each graveyard with an instant or sorcery, exile target instant or sorcery from that graveyard. Yes. So, for every graveyard, you can you pick, pick one, one, and then you cast one of those at random. But it's random. Yeah, yes. so I'm saying, do oh, I have okay. to take one of Steve's? Yes. Okay. Um, well, yeah, but you get started with... Actually, it be, it, Blasphemous Act, which would be hilarious because it would kill your entire board. Uh, single combat. Each player chooses a creature, plants or energy control, sacrifices the rest. Players can't cast creatures. Or it's that well, one. Yeah, and then you know, last side does it all by This is also bad too. Yeah. What does this one do? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you want to cast Let me this see the one. Fucking card. <laughs> oh actually Radstorm's insane here too. Because it's those all get the plus counters too. So actually both of those are totally fucked. Yeah. Um I don't really I'm like I want my spell. Is that random or you get to that random? Oh, I know, because I was like, I could just like straight up blow up Steve's thing and have a bunch of tokens, but it's not. Snapcast image, it is not. <laughs> no, I know. Luck roll, but it is. Okay, so Tori has. <laughs> do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> From Steve's figure. Yeah. yeah, Steve's figure, we have Inspired Call. I have Entrapment Maneuver, and then Tori's figure had Megatron. Me- I won't say Megatron. 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 So, yeah. yeah, so one, two. Three, four, five, six. Four. Middle one. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's All the, right. the big one. I'll respond. No! Steve! No, 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 no. It's, I mean... Um, okay. Jeez. Thank God. How many warriors do you have make? <laughs> I don't even know if my deck has counter spells in it, but I have to try and draw one right now. I don't think it does. Yeah, well, well we're going to find it out might, together. I mean, I had one in the recent pre-gun. Yeah. It was just six mana. All right, I have to cast it. Now you're good. I have to cast a draw spell to try and counter it, but. Right. Can enough. you work with people's graveyards or no? I don't know anything. Nah, okay, because I was like, I have nah. a spell in my Pain. Oh my god, and you're going to make all these. Mm-hmm. Two. Yeah, those are going to make 20 two twos. One more billion two twos. Oh, I forgot oh that that's horrible. Different that's really bad. For me. So I was like, all what right. do you mean? All right, maybe I'm supposed to. Oh my god. Off. Absolutely awful. Okay. Well, we'll just draw two. This is... Alright, uh, I'm gonna draw two cards, uh, <laughs> and then I gain half X uh, rad, uh, rad counters. So I'm gonna gain a rad counter. Um, so I'm gonna draw two cards and gain a rad counter. Okay. Hopefully there's something in here. Nope. Okay, um, I will... Oh my this guarantees that I died to Mothman, basically. Um, all right, I'm gonna destroy my own Mothman and then proliferate. Okay. Uh, yeah, in response. So yep. um, I'll destroy this and then I'll give um, a counter to all these dudes. Mm-hmm. I'm then I'm gonna uh, take up my saga, put a uh, yeah, put a red counter on everybody that has one. Mm-hmm. Um, I really want to spell to herself, Steve. Um, so I'm gonna put. Mothman so, does so, not want to so, spell to herself. So these are each getting two counters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so yep. Twice so Mothman is back in the command zone. Mm-hmm. Um, awesome. Yeah. So um, all of them are just getting now four additional counters. Okay. This is uh, so. Yeah. This is gonna go to eight. Eight. I oh got a bigger die. 
Okay, so this is seven mutants with four counters on them. Seven successes and four uh, ten tens. Ten tens. Cool. Okay, uh, can I go to my second man phase? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Island. Go. Just go. Now that Steve has lost the Mothman, mm -hmm. his Mothman identity has also been lost. Did I go already? I thought mm -hmm. it was. I ticked it up with Pearl Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, you have yeah. to the saga for No, I knew yeah, that, yeah. but I didn't realize you, that was on the saga. That's mm -hmm. right. Drawing for turn. Oh, uh, and then the rad. Yep. Rad trigger. I'm L5. One, two, Mossman. three, four, five. Okay, so three. lose three and three counts. And I will get the Robo Mothman trigger. I am Digimoth. <laughs> <laughs> Digimoth, digital monsters. <laughs> so, um, I was really saving this for Caesar at the beginning of combat. Yeah. So I would highly suggest that either that perhaps maybe if it's an instant, um, you should destroy Caesar at the beginning of combat, not on your turn, but on Lewis' turn. Okay, but okay. what if there's untapped mana? Still what try. If I can the destroy of it right now. Well, the main thing is that whenever Lua attacks. So Lua can just replay it, right, and true. then whenever uh, she attacks with anything, she's just gonna gotcha. like gotcha. kill us all, probably. Just mm -hmm. my guess. Okay. No, um, well, I'm gonna tip down one of my junks in exile. Oh, 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 oh. Steve's so gonna kill us all with so, these 10 10s. I'm at That's six. I am dead, I'm dead on board, at, as it stands. I'm dead on board. Well, because you so. can deal target of yeah. the amount of damage. Well, yeah, I can just moth them. Yeah, and then I, I can just get moth. Right. And I die if I moth you, but sure. <laughs> I will tap this for a white yeah. to cast the Path of Exile on your Mothman. <laughs> I want to see this happen. This is funny to me. I'm well, not killing Steve. <laughs> I don't want Steve to die to another well, one. I, it's, I don't think the well, Mothman would like that. Well, I don't, okay. I was, I'm sure. saving I'm Also, saving I mean, you're ramping me. And Ian's you're been, also preventing me from dying. Ian's so, been because you're scarier than I am. I have been begging for that. Well, I'm not more scary anymore. I'm <laughs> like, to see. I'm, I'm dead on board. Well, I, I have to cast this. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Not to. For sure. And yeah, yeah. I can't cast it right now on Caesar because that would be dumb. So, that's done with. You could cast on the squadron, though. I was just, I can cast on the squadron. Yeah. I'm putting a mountain into play from the path to exile. All right, I will tap three. I guess no. Just every time he moth. All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn and keep my. Actually, no, I'll attack you with Cass. Yeah, vigilance. She's a four three. Okay, does she do anything, or she's just a four three? If she dies, I return stuff to the battlefield, but she's got nothing attached to her anyway. Okay, so uh, I will block with one of these. Cool. Yeah. Yes! Nice. One less to worry Chip about. Away. All right. I will draw. And one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be five. The full lightning axe is the nice. call it. Nice. And take five. Oh, that's man that's trigger. Lava axe. Okay, that's so we'll cast the Battle of Hoover Dam. Damn. Um, so... I can choose NCR or Legion. NCR is at the beginning of your end step return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with finale counter on. Or Legion is whenever a creature you control dies, I put two plus one plus one counters on a target creature you control. Legion, I guess? Cool. It puts plus one plus one counters? Sure, yeah, because I don't think anything else. I think you guys are going to kill me before I have a chance to use the other one with the finale counters. That sounds better, but. I'm at six. I'm not killing anybody. I'm going to cast Fervent Charge. I almost said change. Fervent Charge? Fervent Charge. charge. The words are hard. Um, one, two... No, we're just dead. Well. Uh, whenever a creature you control attacks, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I will let you combat. Okay. I'm going to respond. Okay, do the thing. I'm going to cast Chaos Warp on Caesar. Okay, so I'm gonna put the commander in the command zone, and then I'm gonna shoot yeah. the zone, and I'm gonna draw. Or no, put out this card. Um, ruthless red rat. A rat. It's got squad. Squad. Uh, which it don't. It doesn't matter. It's a two-two minus. Trigger, yeah. Kill me. Kill me like you killed that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want 
Yeah, maybe I just stay in. here and have a lot of blockers for Steve's army, I think, is actually the correct thing. I think so, too. Yeah. yeah. So let's do that. Nothing dies. You don't want to kill me? No, I don't care. I mean, I do care. That's why I'm not killing you. Okay, gun. Okay, I untap. Two radiation, bow ring, and camp. Ooh. Uh, I take a two. But I lose my rat. <laughs> Uh, we're going to start with a Temple of Enlightenment to scry a card. Scrying on scry babies. Woo! Leave that on top. Um, intelligence bobblehead, which will trigger my commander. I'll gain an energy. Woo! Bobblehead. You can now draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> all this work. You've come all this way. <laughs> I have made progress. <laughs> we're going to tap one, two for uh, a loyal apprentice because he's a blocker yeah. <laughs> and she makes more blockers mm -hmm. and then uh, we're gonna go one two three for Lua's favorite character Nick Valentine <laughs> private eye uh, can't be blocked by power attack creatures oh, and no. when he or another uh, creature control artifact creature control dies I can investigate make a clue um which a detective. did the thing, and then I will move to combat. I'm gonna get a thop thop from the loyal apprentice. Got a thoppy toppy. Um, <laughs> and then I will go to pass the turn. All right. He's gonna unleash his fury. Trigger. Um, Trigger those oh. friends. It's kind of weird that there's a certain point in the game where you can't even play your commander anymore because yeah. it's just like, oh, but he kills right. me. <laughs> All right, let's see if my life total gets halved. Oh, no, it's one. not looking good. Oh, I love the Mega Sloth. It's really oh, not looking no. good. It's Ooh. looking horrible. I'm three, at three. three, but I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> no more for me. Okay, Thank now you. that I'm red free, I'm free <laughs> of the sickness. I will play a forest. Uh, <laughs> I will start off by casting Harmonize. Yep. Draw three cards. Cool. One, two, three. That didn't go as planned. Um, let's uh, play a, a Nightkin Ambusher. Mm -hmm. uh, when it enters the battlefield, target player gets four rad counters, and it can't be blocked as long as defending player has a rad counter. Um, you have an unblockable that it can actually just like annihilate me. Because I'm at three, so you literally put an end to my pathetic life. Um, I love how I am consistently just a pain for you, Steve. <laughs> I will, it, my life total is so low, and you have the evasive creatures. Um, <laughs> my two, two, Nick Valentine. Yeah, if, well, if, if you buff him, I, I just die. Wait, yeah, you can literally <laughs> just kill me. Yeah. You can just kill me next turn. Um, well, no, then I don't want to give you the red counters. Louis, you get the red counters, you get four. You have four. Um, I will cast a soul ring. Right on time. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Legendary god soul ring. Right. I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm gonna have a trigger. Mill two. Lose two. Lose two. I lost the fucking trample one. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna lose your back. Hey, you get a 17. I'm gonna play a planes. I'm gonna sack my junk. Get that junk out of you. Canopy Vista. Why? You know, I already played it. Yeah. yeah. I'll play a Fire Shrieker. Ah! Oh, oh! Wait, that's... It's gonna go on dog meat. What's it? Oh, it's double threat. Okay. Oh, if only you had Trample. If only there was something that could give yeah. Tori Creature Trample. Uh, I, I built and every fucking card in my deck. Target Creature. It's if only not there was something that could give Tori's Creature Trample. You would kill me. Do it. No. Or he might. <laughs> Betray. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, go to combat and attack you with dog meat. Would you like to do something oh, absolutely see what happens crazy? Block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's a nine, uh, nine, ten double strike right now? Yes. Yeah, which makes it 18. Yeah. Damage. The dog hasn't hit me yet. Woof, woof. Um. Yeah, I guess how many things can I block with? Oh, I also get a junk token for doing that. Nice. 
You have a bunch of creatures, you have a bunch of creatures. You... Okay, so I'll put, I don't know, who in front of it? Okay. Yeah, I will pay an energy to give it plus one, trample, and haste. Okay, and it's gonna be how much damage? 16. 16, okay. 16 dog. Um, I'm gonna stack this because why not? Sure, sure, sure. Ooh, it's cool. me. Cool, I can play this. I'm gonna play this Ian the Reckless. <laughs> so <laughs> reckless. Whoa, whoa. 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 I'm a crazy whoa. science guy over here. You. Can't even <laughs> sit next to you, they're so reckless. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, draw a card. Um, okay, let's go into one. One. Dang. We're gonna try and cast Caesar again. I'm gonna sack this guy mm-hmm. to make two with Caesar that are tapped. You choose two with a broken. And then the other one, you're just gonna kill him. They have to be tapped and attacking, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'll send both of them at you. Excellent. When I sack this, there's a trigger for this, so I will put two plus one plus encounters on this little rat. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna. You have your other Caesar trigger too? I have my second Caesar trigger, which is gonna be the damage uh, equal to the number of creature tokens that I control, which is currently five, six, seven. And I'm gonna hit D for seven. Yes. Yep. You've swatted the moth. <laughs> the moth's been crushed by the flame. <laughs> and the dog has died. In this movie, the dog doesn't. And then what are you doing um, with these two? So I out? have two, two, twos coming yes. at me. Uh, um, no, two, four, fours. Two, four, fours, right. Yes. Because that card is Buster Ronied. Um, I think the smart move is just to take it all. Unless you want to block, that seems good. Okay, um, I cannot do anything else, so do your worst or not, please. Okay, I'm going to untap. Uh, for the first time in a long time, no rad counters to be seen. Just draw a card. Gonna play a uh, clifftop tree because they have a plains or mountain. Oh no! Wait. Yes. Okay. You're gonna win. Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm gonna play. The Motherload Excavator. Mm-hmm. So when it enters the battlefield, uh, well, I get a cast trigger to get an energy. When it ETBs, I get uh, I choose an opponent and I get an amount of energy equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. You have, I think, one or two. Heck yeah. Okay, seven energy. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'm gonna pay one energy, the Madison Lee, to give it plus one O, trample, and haste. Mm-hmm. Um, gonna move to combat. Mm-hmm. Get a thopter. Um, and then swing with everything. Mm-hmm. And the mother load executor has a second ability that says, whenever it attacks, I can pay four energy. When I do, destroy a non-basic land, defending player controls, and creatures that player controls without flying cannot block this turn. What? Do you draw that for turn? I've had them. I had the whole You're game. Piece of shit. I had them the whole game. <laughs> okay, well, I have three main open with nothing that I can do. Wow. The card I drew for turn was a Vault 75 and it exiled all creatures with power four or greater. I guess I could have done that, but I read the card wrong and I thought it said four or less, so I was like. Yeah. Well, would've... it wouldn't have destroyed anything on my board that uh, turn. Yeah, but you could have killed Ian. I the trigger and then attacked all out of me. Or, like you could have killed all of us. Like things, so I had more damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I read my yeah. card wrong, so I think I could have gotcha. cast that. Oh, because it could have killed all of your zombies. Yeah, so they killed all my zombies. So I, I didn't have to buy the trigger. You mm-hmm. died the trigger, and then oh, okay. killed both of us. So yeah. 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 But I think I would have to have. We'd have to do that and then play Caesar too, right? Cause yeah, I would need to have one more mana. So it was kind of like a yeah trade off, and I would have to see if I could. I thought, I thought manipulate some stuff a little bit. Actually, oh, I you did, I no, because Caesar's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. And then I have three. Oh, yeah. So I could oh, I like see. try to see what I have, but yeah. I didn't have it. But that was super gotcha. fun. Gotcha. What GGs. else did you have? Uh, I had Brotherhood Scribe, which Metalcraft, I can tap to make an energy. And then whenever I get an energy during my turn, creatures get plus one plus one. 
So that's really cool when it's working, but it was far from doing that stuff. What were you going nice. to do besides attack us with your zombies? When I died, I had these in my hand. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I had a Valorous stance where I could destroy a target creature. And I was going to hang on to it try to kill Stizzer if you recast him, but I got greedy and wanted to cast Ian instead. Because his name's Ian. Your name is Ian. So I was like, I <laughs> This for the experience. Yeah, um, that, was, that was a really fun matchup, and I really liked all the different commander abilities. I thought they were really cool. Yeah. I think I like the radiation counter thing. Yeah, I, that yeah. was like I also thought they would be like bigger hits. Yeah, yeah. But like they, really they were fair. Assert. Yeah, they yeah. were yeah. like yeah. Brutal. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we weren't getting like chunked by them. I, I mean, I was disappointed. Also cracked the safe. The under my safe was swords to plowshares and two lands. Oh, those were my lands. <laughs> Sick. Those are super fun. Well, if yeah. you yeah. enjoyed this episode and you want to check out Ian and Steve Stillman, top content creators on the internet, you can go to the description <laughs> below and you can see all the ways to follow them. The two yeah. of them help make Scrybees possible, so definitely go check them out. And if you enjoyed these pre-cons, you can go shop for them now. They're available. They're, mm-hmm. they're at your LGS. They're online. Uh, you can use our links in the description to go shop for those as well. Mm-hmm. And I thought they were really fun to play as a pod together. Yeah. So I yeah, enjoyed yeah. that a lot, especially because like I'm somewhat familiar with Fall, but not that much. So it was really cool to like see more cards in action or see ones that we already know. Which is yeah, nice. yeah, I thought we'd seen them a bunch because it took all my willpower to be like, oh, that's the thing from Fall in New Vegas when he does this, this, and that. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you can know someone who's never played Fallout. They're really fun. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're really balanced, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And I, I like I like how Dogmeat plays with Mothman too. Yeah. Just like casting Dogmeat, just like actually enables Mothman mm-hmm. and some other neat stuff. Yeah, there were some cool cards in there too. That nine ten was like mm-hmm. scary the whole yeah. game. Absolutely. And bobbleheads were cool too. But I can't wait. That's our thoughts on the pre-cons. Uh if you want to support us, there's other ways to do that in the description, like our Patreon and yeah. Bonfire merch. Yeah, so if you want to shop our merch, we have a bonfire link below. Uh, you can also support us by checking out our affiliate links. Those are listed in the description. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps more than you think it does. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. We would like to thank our Tier 6 patrons, Justin, Isaac, Carr, and Uncle Butts. Thank you for being our producers and helping make episodes possible. We'd also like to thank our Tier 5 patrons, Arcady Red, Choo Choo Charles, Joseph, and Old Panda. Thank you so much for being patrons.